Hey everybody, my name is Thomas and I've been an SAP consultant for over 25 years and I want to show you how to log into an SAP system real quick. You have three options. You can go through the SAP Web GUI, the SAP GUI for Windows, or the SAP GUI for Java. What I'm showing you right now is the Web GUI. I just opened up a Google browser, typed in the URL of the SAP system, and it brings me to this login screen. All I have to do is put in my user and password and I can select the login language as well. You'll see this particular system has four languages installed. I'm going to select English and then I press the log on button and then I get this screen. This is what it looks like when you're logged into SAP through the web GUI. Now this is our S4 HANA 2020 system. Right now this is the newest system. Um, but you can of course log into other systems as well and if you do they might look slightly different for example we have an older ECC 6 system you can also access that through the web GUI and when you do that that looks a little different looks like this okay now this is the web GUI the good thing about the web GUI is that you don't have to install anything on your computer you simply open up a browser and you can log into SAP as soon as you get your user ID and password However, this is not the most common or most commonly used way to log into SAP. Most people actually log into SAP using the SAP GUI or SAP login for Windows. It's this window that I'm showing you right here. It's a little program that you install on your computer. And actually, it's not a little program. It's fairly big. But you have to install that on your computer. And when you do, you get this window, the middle section that I'm highlighting here, Will not be there in your when in your, your computer this will just be blank every one of these rows is a different sap system that i added to my gui so once you install this program on your computer you will get your login and connection information from your system administrator and you have to add an entry for that system that you want to log in and you simply do that by clicking on this little new icon there i'm going to show you our S4 HANA 2020 system again. I simply double click the system and it brings up the login screen for that system. You can tell it looks slightly different from the web GUI, right? But it's the exact same system that I'm logging into. Um, the, the benefits of having the SAP GUI for Windows is that it's faster, it supports all SAP functions that are available. The web GUI sometimes doesn't or it's not as fast as this one. I think that's the reason why people prefer the SAP GUI for Windows right now. That might change in the future. SAP pushes more and more to for people to use the web GUI or the Fiori uh, interface. But for right now, this is the most common way to log in. Now, if you have a Mac computer, you cannot use the SAP GUI for Windows. Right? That's only for PCs. So for Mac computers, you would have to install the SAP Java GUI. It's the same concept. You download the Java GUI, you install it on your computer, you create a system entry in the GUI, and then you log in. It looks a little bit different than this one, but in general, it's the same process. So those are the three options for you to log into SAP. I hope that was helpful. If you want to learn more about SAP, go to our website, michaelmanagement.com where we have hundreds of SAP courses for you and even live SAP access so you can log into your own sandbox system and play around. Thanks, and click like on this video. Bye.